Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and today we're looking at the CNOI PT2. Let's get into it. The CNOART PT2. Now these are the latest tampers to join the electronic tamper kind of movement. And they're joining a, quite a few tampers out there now. But let's look into what makes these different and where they're applicable. Where CNOART have come in is they've gone for that budget end of the tampers to make it really affordable. And I guess probably more into that low volume cafe or that home user. And we say that because they're a little bit less functionality than the others, a little bit slower but the price point really reflects this and they really are great value. So on the Tampa side of things, you basically have three settings. They've called it 10, 20 and 30 kilos. But you could really call it A, B or C just to make it a little bit simpler to think about. And each Tampa setting, you can adjust the tamp pressure and the number of times it tamps. So the pressure could go from two to 38 kilos and then you can tamp from one to three times. So you could set up the first one at call it 10 kilos one tamp, which is what it's set up at the moment. Two, uh, second one at 20 kilos two tamps and the third one at 30 kilos three tamps. But if you wanted to change this, it's super easy. You click on the 10 kilos or the button A, you go up or down. So in this case, let's just go down to the say nine and you hit the down up button here, which is equivalent to the set button and you set it and basically it flashes and you're done. So now the first button's one tamp at nine kilos. If you wanted the first one to tamp twice, same process where you press the 10 kilos or let's call it button A. You press now the up and down arrows on this side, so call it to two. You press the up down. Once again, I think it should be called set. Um, and now you have it nine kilos being tamped twice. And obviously you can do that for each of the three modes. The good thing is you can have different settings on each button. So you could have your first button, second button, and third button set up differently for whatever you're trying to achieve. It's also got a counter. So in each one, you can go in and look at the count of how many you've done in button one, two, or three, or ABC, whatever you want to call it. And you can reset that counter really easily. So it makes sense if you wanted to just say at the beginning of the day, set them all to zero and know how many times you've done in each profile through that day through that week, through that month, whichever way you're looking at the data. In terms of cleaning, it's also quite simple. You just press the, I'm calling it set, that's up down button and the down and the tamp head comes down. However, I kind of find it a little bit difficult. When it comes down, you can clean it with a rag or your finger or something like that to get rid of the static grounds, but it's quite tight between the porter filter and the head. So I don't feel like it's the most practical or maybe I'm not looking at this in the right way. You can also do a deep clean by taking out the head and that unscrews in a counterclockwise way. I would unplug the tamper to do this, but that's just me, you don't have to unplug it. In saying that, to do that, you have to remove the fork to make it a lot easier for you. And for that, it comes with the wrench, Allen key wrench. So you remove the fork, go counterclockwise, the whole mechanism comes out. You can do either do deep clean or you can change the um, port filter head if you needed to change size or for some reason you wanted to change it down the track. To bring it back up, just repeat the same process again. Hold that down button and it goes up. Now, let's look at the actual tamping. Okay, so we got it at nine kilos, one tamp. And if we put in that porter filter, so you gotta get that cleaning mode back up. Put in that porter filter, that's it there, tamped once. If we went into the same mode three, which is tamping 30 kilos three times, that's once, that's twice, that's three times. So a little bit slower than some of the other tampers. The results just as good but a little bit slow. And one thing this doesn't have compared to the say the Slingshot Kilo is a 30 degree polish at the end. But yeah, very neat results, a little bit slow, but for its environment, for to say a home or low volume cafe, it's perfect. That was with a normal porter filter. If we did have the Lama Zorka porter filter, which has that ledge there, we can just adjust the height of the fork down. So we've done it on this other tamper here, which you can see, and that's it. We'd one tamp there. I feel like it was two tamps and I pulled it out too early, but let's just do that again. We put it in, there you go, two tamps. I'm very impatient, I don't like waiting, so that would drive me a little bit crazy, but for a home environment, it would be awesome. Looking at these, the main competitors are obviously your puck press, which 
now are on the Q2 range and they've been like the leaders of the industry. They were the, pretty much the first ones out there and they're the benchmark. And you've got the Kilo, or basically the thing like Kilo, competing quite hard. But they're at the top end of the price point. They're fast, easy to clean, come with a lot of functionality, but definitely up in there in price, pretty much almost double the price of these. These CNOI have really nailed the price point for what they are and I feel like they'll do well in the home market. Let me know below if you want any more information on these, which tamper you prefer, whether it's the Ceno Art, the Park, the Killer, or even the Compact Cube. Um, which one do you have? And which one would you like us to do more reviews on? In saying that, we have done reviews on the Park and the Killer, which we'll link to above here. I hope you enjoyed knowing more about and seeing the Ceno Art PT2. Now, you know the drill here. If you've liked these videos and want to see more, hit that like button and hit that subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it makes us feel better about what we do. So please subscribe and see you on the next video. Thank you, I'm Pedro from Coffee Parts.